Good afternoon, KVC. I've been asked to talk briefly on the unity of the body. As I pondered this topic, my thoughts went to the story of Pentecost. And first, I'd like to take us back briefly to the Last Supper, when in John chapter 14, verse 16 to 19, we read that Jesus promised his disciples that he would send another helper, the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth that would dwell in all who believed in him. In Acts 2, we read of the fulfillment of this promise on the day of Pentecost. The disciples were gathered in one place, something that we can't do right now, but more importantly, in one accord and in unity. The Holy Spirit descended on them in a powerful way, heralding the start of the spread of the gospel around the globe. We read at the end of Acts chapter 2 that the church came together both physically, but more importantly, through a unity of spirit. The New King James describes us as a simplicity of heart. And for me, this clearly described their single-minded focus on the spread of the gospel, empowered by the Holy Spirit dwelling in each one of them. Acts chapter 2 concludes with a reflection that the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved. The Holy Spirit unites all of us, whether we are physically together or not. The Holy Spirit is not divided as it is part of the Trinity. Furthermore, he has also promised that he dwells in all who believe in him. As we spend time in God's word, meditate on him, pray and fast, I believe the Holy Spirit will speak to each one of us. What he speaks will be consistent and will unite us, not only as KVC, but also as the global church. Let us now pray for a unity of spirit for the church at this time and to hear what the Holy Spirit would say to us as individuals, to KVC and also to the global church.